The men's Ironman record finally falls, and we get a quick glance at the pro field for 70.3 Worlds. Tri Center starts now. Welcome to Tri Center, the world's number one triathlon news show. I'm Ann Wessling. We'll kick off with news from Klagenfurt, Austria. Now, if that's not right, let us know. Everyone expected Belgium's Marino von Hunacker to be the first to cross the finish line at Ironman Austria. He had, after all, won this event five years in a row. What no one anticipated was exactly how fast he'd do it. Von Hunacker combined a 46-49 swim, a 4:15:37 bike, and a 2:39:24 marathon to cross the finish line in 7.45.58, shattering the previous record for fastest Ironman time. The previous record of 7.50.27 was held by Luke van Leerde and stood for 14 years. Also in Europe, there are major concerns about the Serpentine Lake in London, which is set to play host to the 2012 Olympic triathlon events. Blue-green algae has been found at the lake causing it to be closed to all swimmers due to the potential health hazards the algae presents. Olympic organizers have yet to address the issue, but more pressing is what the ITU will decide to do about next month's World Championship Series race, which is also supposed to take place at the lake. The event is an Olympic qualifier for many countries, making it a key race on most Olympic hopefuls' schedule. Another decision the ITU must make is if Great Britain's Harry Wiltshire will be further punished for an incident that happened at the ETU European Championships in Pontevedra, Spain. Hometown favorite Javier Gomez finished in a disappointing 40th place after dealing with contact from Wiltshire, leading many to believe Wiltshire may have been working to help his teammates. After the race, the ITU disqualified the Brit and has said the ITU executive board will review the incident to decide if a further action beyond disqualification is warranted. We asked what you thought about the incident on triathlete.com. The majority of you felt he was working to help his teammates and took it too far. Back here in the U.S., athletes enjoyed the second running of the Washington, D.C. Triathlon. The race, which took place back on June 19th, went off under cloudy skies and a light drizzle. The event starts in the Potomac River and finishes near the Capitol Building. Australian Paul Matthews and American Alicia Kay took the victories. Now it's time to look forward to the first ever Ironman 70.3 World Championship race to be held in Las Vegas. The date change means that the event is only two short months away. And despite the race being so close, many pros are being quiet about whether or not they will make the start. Our friends at Triathlete Magazine were able to get a few of them to spill the beans. And here's a look at athletes who have said they will be on the Vegas starting line. The men's field is highlighted by two-time defending champion Michael Raylert and former champions Terenzo Bazone and Andy Potts. On the women's side, Julie Dibbins is one of the favorites with strong competition coming from athletes like Magalie Tissair, Katrina Morrison and Leanda Cave. Two of the athletes committed to Vegas took part in a Triathlete Magazine photo shoot last week. Australia's Luke Bell and Canada's Magali Tissair suited up and headed out to the San Diego area's Lake Hodges to shoot with triathlete photo editor Nils Nilsson. The photos, along with a 70.3 Worlds preview, will be featured in the September issue of the magazine. That's all for today's news. Check back later today for our preview of one of the fastest iron distance races on the planet, Challenge Roth. We'll see you then. Some you tell me. We'll kick off with news from. You tell me. We'll kick off with news from. Oh you caught it. Kind of. No, I got it. Oh, that's going to look great on playback. 